Welcome to SSTage RPA Automation Studio. Empowering automations require a tool to model all your organization's business processes. SSTage platform provides a powerful, simple, user-friendly design time tool Automation Studio that enables users to create and configure automation processes. In this video, we'll explore more about SSTage RPA Automation Studio. Let's first understand SSTage Automation Studio capabilities. Using SSTage RPA Automation Studio, a user can create or record automation processes, view, edit or update processes, test processes, publish processes, migrate processes and manage applications used in the automation processes. Let's explore these features by accessing the Automation Studio. To use the Automation Studio, as a prerequisite, one should have .NET Framework 4.6 or above and Microsoft Build Tools installed on his machine. You can then launch the studio by running automationstudio.exe available in the SS Edge RPA's Build Client Tools folder. A pre-configured instance or environment is available for selection on the Instance Configuration screen of SS Edge RPA Automation Studio. However, one can anytime add a new instance or environment by clicking the plus new instance button. You may edit or delete an existing instance using the edit or delete icon. To login, select the instance and click connect. To access the automation studio, the user needs to be a valid user within the SSTage RPA application with the necessary access of SE underscore ACE access to run the automation studio. If the application prompts to enter credentials, provide your Windows credentials as SSTH RPA by default supports LDAP authentication. Or else, click Connect. Automation Studio consists of three major screens, namely Processes, Studio and Admin. Let's understand the significance of each one of it. The Processes screen is the landing page of Studio that is used to view all automations available in a particular instance of SSTage RPA application. The Studio screen is where one configures automation processes. The Admin screen is used to perform administrative tasks such as adding and managing applications used in the automation process, deploying and migrating processes, and maintaining process backups. Let's understand each of these screens in detail. The Processes screen displays processes and details such as name of the process, type of the process, status, created by, last edited of all the processes created by the current logged in user. Toggling on the View All Processes button displays All Processes panel with process details of processes created by other valid users connected to the same SSTage RPA instance. To search for a specific process, one can apply filters on various searchable process parameters. The next screen in Automation Studio is the Studio screen that is used to configure automation processes. To create a new process, click Create and click Process. The center of the screen displays the process canvas where one can start building the process. Let's first understand what is a process. A process in Automation Studio is a collection of activities where each activity performs a specific task. Let's look at the activities in the studio. The Canvas Tool section includes a set of activities to perform varied tasks. These activities are grouped under sections and each section includes activities of its own logical group, such as Contextual intelligence includes activities that observes, learns and helps solve business problems. It empowers human workers with contextual insights to identify process redesigning opportunities. Cognitive services to add intelligence to automations by calling various language, vision and speech APIs. File includes a set of activities to perform file operations automation, email to perform email automations, Process components to perform various application automations such as database, web applications and other thick client applications. PDF template creator to perform PDF automations. 
image to perform surface automations. In addition to this, one can even create a custom activity of his own. Assistant Automation Studio provides technology specific adapters to automate various ERP applications. For configuring automation processes within SSTH RPA Automation Studio, one can either use the drag and drop feature to drop activities onto the process canvas or can even record a complete process using recorders available in the studio. As a basic automation, let's now configure the automation process to print Hello RPA on the output window. Let's understand the logical steps one will perform to configure the Hello RPA process. Start designing the process, drag and drop right line activity onto the process canvas, save the process, test run the process, publish and deploy the process. With these steps, let's switch to studio. Let's drag and drop the right line activity. The right line activity is used to print out information in text format. Type in hello RPA. Before we move on to the next step in the studio, Let's understand the process life cycle. A process in Automation Studio follows a defined life cycle. A newly created process remains in the editable state unless saved. One can test the process to see if it executes successfully. Saved processes are moved to publish state to ensure that the process is available to other SSTEDGE RPA users. Processes are published under a profile that logically groups multiple processes and helps maintaining segregation in an organization. For example, HR profile can have its own logical group of HR related processes. Finance profile may contain processes related to finance. The published processes are further deployed and these deployed processes can then be assigned to a robot for execution. Let's view this life cycle in the studio. A process remains in the editable state unless saved. Save the process by giving it a logical name. You can view the saved process under the My Processes tab. Now let's test run the process to see if it executes successfully. Click Setup Environment to instantiate applications used in the process. Once the environment is set up, Test run the process to verify the process execution. To make a process available to other SSTH RPA users, a process needs to be published under a profile. One can create a profile using the Automation Studio. For this process, let's create a profile with name Finance to group all finance related processes and applications. Click Application, click plus icon and provide name as Finance. Now click Publish to publish the Hello RPA process under the Finance profile. You may notice that the process moved from Save to Publish state and becomes available to other SSTH RPA users. As explained, the final step in the process lifecycle with an automation studio is to deploy the process. Click Admin, click Deployment, click Deployment icon in front of the process. The process is deployed and a backup of the process is being taken. The status of the process now changes to Deployed. This is how one creates a process in automation studio and makes it available to the robot for execution. Let's now explore the admin screen of SSTEDGE Automation Studio. Applications tab is used to add and manage applications along with profile to be used in any automation process. Properties related to the application can be configured in the Applications section. Deployment tab is used to deploy processes to make it available to the robot for execution. Attended Automation tab is used to manage settings for a particular deployed process for attended automation. Migration tab is used to deploy processes from one environment to another. Let's say from a development environment to a test environment. Bot tab lists all process bots and micro bots. Process backup displays a list of all backed up processes along with their version and can be used to roll back to a previous version. 
Marketplace is used to search for processed pods and microbots from the Assist Edge Marketplace. With the understanding of Assist Edge Automation Studio, make sure to learn more about different types of automations by exploring other videos.